Hi everyone, Arjun from Wizards.exe here. In this video, we're going to go over config robot configuration basics. So, what do you, what is configuring? Configuring is essentially telling your control hub and your expansion hub what motors and what servos and what sensors are plugged into which ports. And this is done beforehand, before you get into actually programming. The first step to do this is to click on the three dots on the top right and hit Configure Robot. Next, you hit the New button in the top left. Hit Scan. One thing that I'm going to note is I have an expansion hub connected to my control hub. If you want to learn how to do this, view our Control System Startup video. Click on Expansion Hub Portal 1. You're going to see that there are two expansion hubs here listed. There's Expansion Hub 1 and Expansion Hub 2. Expansion Hub 1 is the control hub, which is always number 1. And Expansion Hub 2 refers to the expansion hub connected to your control hub. I'm going to click on Expansion Hub 1 first. Now, we're going to go over how to configure motors and servos, but all sensors we're going to have a separate video on how to do. First, I'm going to click on Motors. You can see that there are four drop-downs and four text boxes, which refer to the four motor ports on your control hub and expansion hub. If you click this drop-down, you get multiple options for a Rev Robotics 20 to 1 HD hex motor, a Rev Robotics core hex motor, as well as unspecified motor. I'm going to select a 20 to 1 HD hex motor, but you can select whichever motor you are using in that port. We can then give that motor a name. For example, I'm going to give it left. This is what the name that's going to be used when you're programming your robot. So make it descriptive. Now I'm going to hit done. I can fill out all of the rest of the motors, but I'm going to get into the servos now. You can see here there are six drop downs, which refer to the six servo ports on the control hub and the expansion hub. We can click on one of the drop downs and there are three options. One is nothing and the other two are Rev Smart Robot servos in continuous mode or standard mode. If you're not sure what those are, view our servo programmer guide to learn. I'm going to set one in standard mode and I'm going to give it the name Flap. Remember to keep these names descriptive as it makes it much easier to actually program. Now I'm going to hit done and I'm going to hit done now. If we click on Expansion Hub 2, which refers to the Expansion Hub, you can see that we have the same menus for the Expansion Hub ports. This is a set because the Control Hub and Expansion Hub have the same input-output ports for motors, servos, power, and sensors. The only difference is that the Control Hub has a built-in processor and is the hub for your robot. Now I'm going to hit Done and hit Save. We can give this configuration a name. I'm going to call it test, but you should give it a more, more in-depth name. For example, robot, first global team USA robot, or first robot. I'm going to hit OK to save. Now, one thing that we didn't go over in this video is how to use sensors. And we're going to have that all in a separate video. Say I have multiple configurations, so I'm going to create a new configuration very quickly, and I'm going to name it Test Robot. If I created this new configuration, you can see that in the top right, it says that the active configuration is Test Robot. Say I want to revert it back to Test. I can just hit the Activate button under Test, and now the active configuration is Test. The active configuration is the configuration that all of your programming programming menus are currently using. So you're going to want to have the active configuration be the correct configuration so that your programming does not get screwed up. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment or email wizards.exe at gmail.com with any questions. Thank you.